it's echoey in my house because there are no furniture it's very empty so I have to use a lav mic to make sure that I talk slowly and talk very low so that the echo don't come back but I'll probably move here to another room hey everybody welcome to stylish grease monkey my name is Chris I hope you're doing very well you know my stress level has gone down after my pack out mainly because it's gone but I can tell you that leading to that pack out day my stress level have risen to an unbelievable level and I had to do something about it so I've been in the military for almost 30 years and we've had a lot of challenges in the military that's almost always going to raise that level of stress that you have that we have and we've had to kind of find ways to mitigate the stress or else stress can kill right this is a men's channel, this is a men's lifestyle and men's style channel and men's health is part of that and managing stress is definitely part of that. I love sharing my experiences with you, I like being personable, I like sharing my life with you because as I journey through life I have lessons learned and I want to pass down to you that are young ones that are right behind me and hopefully learn some of these lessons and take care of yourself and live a very productive and long life. So. Here are the ways that I mitigated that stress. Check this out real quick, guys. I kept my coffee machine hot water thing because I love to drink tea. This is a matcha tea, blended matcha tea. I don't know if, we, I don't know if you can see that. Blended matcha tea. It's just something that's readily available. So the hot water there, put that in there and good to go. And I'm going to drink that while I'm talking to you. Like I said, this place is very echoey because there are no furnitures. The very first one, make a list. Make a list of things to do. It doesn't matter if you know exactly where to start and how to finish. Just start making a list and have a pen and paper nearby because all throughout the weeks and days leading to something uh, you will remember things that you want to do and then you can write that down um, I am NOT a list maker I'm not that type of personality but I've learned a long time ago that making a list a plan it doesn't have to be a hundred percent like I said a plan of some sort will definitely help you kind of lead to that right direction as you start checking off this list so make a list, number one. All right, along with making a list, you have to understand that you can't control a lot of things. So do not sweat the small things. We like to think that things will happen uh, accordingly and then also anticipate the what ifs. Uh, and then we worry ourselves about the little what ifs and things like that, not knowing what's going to happen. Some things that you can't control may derail your plan and then uh, adds more to the stress so try not to think about or worry about the little things in general think that things will go fine it doesn't matter what you do things will be okay when we're worried we tend to also not pay attention to our diet right a lot of us are in a hurry we're always in a hurry and we uh, don't pay attention to our diet we don't cook we don't buy the right stuff. We don't have a balanced diet because we uh, think that we don't have time to do that. We want to be on the run. We want to go out and buy food from the uh, fast food restaurant, uh, drink soda, you know, and totally just wreck all the years and months of, of your hard work in the, in the health business, right? You have to think that, you know, food is fuel. And if you have the right fuel, then your machine, which is your body, will work efficient, will be efficient. It will help you um, de-stress or will help you deal with the levels of stress that you're experiencing. So try to eat right. I will stick with my rule of 80 to 20% because that's what I do, right? I love my ice cream. I love my snacks here and there. Uh, but I also try to be at 80% of the time, make a decision that I'm going to eat a balanced meal of fresh fruits and vegetables and you know I believe 
in the saying from a nutritionist a long time ago that if you can catch it and kill it, you can eat it. And I still believe that to this day. I've already mentioned this in one of my videos. Eating and exercising goes hand in hand in my opinion, especially for me. Um, when I'm exercising, I'm eating right. And then when I'm eating right, I try to make sure that I go to the gym and exercise. When you're stressed, you need to continue to go to the gym because working out and exercise, and I'm sure this is not the first time you've heard of it, is a de-stressor. Now, some people, when they get stressed, they lean on alcohol or drugs or whatever it is to make themselves feel better. I can guarantee you it will not. So go get yourself some exercise, whether it be as simple as walking for 30 minutes, 40 minutes after, you know, whatever it is you're doing, or go to the gym and lift weights. Do something that you enjoy. It will get your mind off of the current situation and the stressful situation you're in and get you back on track into being healthy and being fun around, of course, because exercise releases some endorphins, right? Positive things. So continue to exercise is another one. And listen, I know that most of us at this age have a really, I don't know, crazy ego. And sometimes we don't want to set that aside and just go ask for help. Hey guys, if you're stressed, verbalize it to somebody. I can guarantee you, if you have true friends, you're my friend, right? I can verbalize it to anybody and get the help I need, whether that be helping with a move, helping with figuring things out, you know, watching my dog, uh, just little things like that. They would, your friends would even go to this to the length of buying you food if you cannot make it to the commissary to buy food, right? They will do that for you if they're true friends. So go ask for help, you know, tuck your tail between your legs and go get some help. That is another way to mitigate stress and keep it at a, at a manageable level. Set aside time for yourself to think, take deep breaths and do something that you enjoy. You will notice that I probably have put out more videos during this period of my transition uh, because I enjoy making videos and making videos and talking to you via the camera here, YouTube world, uh, de-stresses me. That this is my way to de-stress. Um, I don't care about, you know, what other people say. I don't care about what other people think. This is the way I de-stress. I enjoy this very much. So do something that you enjoy. Make time to make sure you have time for yourself. Do something that you enjoy and that will help you with your stress. All right, guys, I've talked about this in one of my health videos. Get some sleep. <laughs> A lot of people allow themselves to worry about the littlest things and then allow that to affect their sleep. Go get some sleep. A good amount of sleep will make you more energetic the next day or the day after, right? So go get some sleep. Along with that, you know, rest, relax, don't worry about it, right? You've made your list, you're going to do your list, and everything will be fine. So relax, get some sleep, and then be energetic and be positive the next day. That's how you do it. All right, guys, since this is a men's style channel as well, one other thing that I want to tell you is continue with your grooming, right? Uh, during a period of stress, we can easily just let go. We can easily just not shave, uh, not fix our hair or not get a haircut, um, not take a bath. Some people just forego taking a bath because they're so busy. Um, other people don't, I don't know, don't shave, don't brush their teeth. There's so many things that you can just say, the hell with it because I'm so busy. I got to do all of these things all throughout the day. I just have enough time to take a nap or go crash. I'm not going to brush my teeth. I'm not going to comb my hair. I'm not going to take a bath. That is the wrong thing to do. I know not you, but I'm just saying is that there are people that do that. And that's why I have to say that. So continue your grooming, continue to look good and feel good inside and have this confidence that you can tackle any challenges uh, way ahead. Right. So those are my recommendations and the things that I've done to decrease the level of stress that I was experiencing with this momentous 
time and moment in my life in which moving all my household goods, what I've lived in and what I've used for the last 10 years, having a wife and two kids from the island of Okinawa to the island of Hawaii. I am looking forward to being at home back in Hawaii because I know Hawaii is my positive vibe. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you get something from it. If I missed anything or if you have a way that you deal with stress, leave a comment on the comment section below and let everybody know, right? I appreciate your support. I appreciate you being here. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video, I try to do this at least twice a week, even more so now because I use it to de-stress, right? And talk about men's life, men's lifestyle, and a little bit of vlogs here and there and, and what I do. So I do appreciate it. Until next time, aloha. This is my master bedroom. Uh, this is temporary. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna sleep. That's where me and my guy right there sleeps. Well, that is his bed when I'm not here. But as you can tell, found that table on the curb somewhere, but I needed something to put my stuff because I don't wanna keep it on the ground. <laughs>